Welcome. Today we're going to look at how I inspect web pages with my iPad. Because I do a lot of my coding on my iPad. Um, not quite all of it. There's some things I do end up doing. If I have to FTP, I end up back on my Mac. But I do a lot of my coding on my iPad. And that means, unfortunately, unfortunately, because it's actually a little tricky. Um, I've got to inspect CSS there. So let's dig in. When I first started this, uh, what I'm using now is Inspect. When I first started, what you really had was um, iCab, and it had some inspection stuff, and that's about it. It was terrible. <laughs> Actually, it was janky and didn't work. Then I used something called Web Tools, which was better, but not spectacular. Uh, and now I use I or not iCab Inspect because it's just really good. That's it's the best so far um, that deals with any of the iOS constraints. So as you can see in here, I've got, uh, I can see view source here. Uh, if you want to say inspect, you can't, uh, in most browsers you right click and then you can say inspect this element, but instead you have to hit tap to inspect and I can actually inspect that element. Um, I can also go up and down the DOM tree here if I want. And right, I can go look inside the header. I can open it. Um, again, with my trackpad, it's actually a little easier to navigate with your hand, uh, and I actually usually have my iPad brought in fairly close on this hand, so if I need to touch it, I can touch it with my left hand. Um, I can get into my CSS if I want to here. I can add stuff if I want, right? I could go display oh, none. Now I just lost my content on my site. <laughs> Not for real, that's you know, just live editing. Um, you can check... Uh, just what, what just whatever's happening really on the HTML view and that's really good that's it it's just really good uh, if you need to emulate devices let's just refresh because I don't want to hide all my content um, then you can come in and you can select it really all right I can do a desktop and now it's clearly it's zoomed out I can do 1024 1280 all right I could look at my phone 4 if I really wanted to and I can see that my images technically need to be adjusted for that or the SE or 10.5 iPads, right? Um, yeah, and that just works really well. Um, I also, yeah, I like that. You can also up with this button up in the top corner, uh, and you can see it doesn't support trackpad. We're not snapping into the into the um, icon yet. We can change sides if we want to. That works quite well as well, and we can rotate my device if I want. So for my my theoretical iPad, I'm testing right now. Um, I usually leave it down on the bottom. It's actually something I'd love. I'd love if Inspect uh, supported multiple screens um, better. So I'd love it if it used the multi-screen API and either gave me a full screen on my uh, on my main monitor, which I'm actually looking at a 4K monitor right in front of me, my iPad's off to the side. But if it did that um, and gave me like a full browser width here, that'd be nice. Usually if I'm operating on uh, my 4K monitor, which is 27 inches, I'll put my inspector over to the side and I still have like an entire screen with to like view the website and the website is still big enough that I see it in full desktop view and I have an inspector on the side, but I can't do that here. So it's pillar boxed because that's what it does on iPad OS. I'd love to see that update. Um, never actually used the project's view, so I don't know what it does. But it lets you do really anything you need. Um, all right, I can come into storage. I can delete cookies if I want. Uh, I can change local storage. I can see what's in my session storage. Uh, we can dig through our resources, what we have, and then I'm ready to limit it to JavaScript, see what our JavaScript is. Uh, we can just go through the raw source and see it if we want to. Mm -hmm. What else? We can see how things loaded, right? All of them see our, our load tree, what happened. So it took me two seconds to load the main page here, or to just get to the main page, and then it started loading everything else. So that's uh, something with how my server was responding, because this is my site. Um, we can change the themes if we want, right? We can go system, default, which is where I left it dark. Red if you want, red. Yeah, I never want to use red. Um, and then we have some more settings here. Something I actually found out, <laughs> literally as I was getting ready for the video, is that I can start the panel off on the bottom, which is, where I want it here, I just generally find that's where I need it. I'm actually usually not uh, testing devices like this. And how do we kill it? None. 
I, uh, I usually am not. This is usually what I'm doing. Um, yeah, we can keep our tabs persistent if we want, right? It does support multiple tabs if we want that. So I can come in and view something else. Uh, or I can view uh, like two different pages of the uh, website I'm looking at. It has a full console, so I can like actually interact with the console for JavaScript, which is great. Uh, it takes screenshots. So I click that, and if I go over to Photos, it is in here now. See right there. That's just showed me the, the viewport that I had. Uh, yeah, overall, it's really pretty good experience. Um, and I can even change it to full page screenshot, which I've never tried. It says it's experimental, but let's try it anyways. Capturing the full page. So this is gonna be nice. Uh, I used to use this when I did a lot of, uh, put a lot of my client work up on my own site. I have no idea how long this is gonna take because I've never actually tried it. So we'll see how long it takes. There you go, took a while. Now let's see what we got. Did we get it? No, it's experimental. I guess that just means it's beta, it might not work. That's fine. I don't actually need that most times. I can't remember the last time I ever took a whole page screenshot like that anyways. Um, you can also turn off valid SSL certificates. Um, this can be good if you're on a staging site that doesn't have one or that has like a weird one that the browser doesn't like. Um, yeah, you can disable our cache entirely. Uh, we can disable JavaScript. There's just a lot that we can do with this. Um, that's really all I can think of to show you right now. You can edit, sir. I don't even know what edit does here. Nothing. Nothing. That's what it does. Nothing. So, yeah. That is Inspect. It is what I use for my... And you can turn it off. Actually, you can just take it right away if you want. Or minimize it. Um, this is what I use when I am dealing with CSS on a website. Uh, it works pretty good. It is have it is under some of the limitations of uh, iPadOS because it has to use this, uh, Safari's JavaScript and or not JavaScript. It has to use Safari underneath because that's what they all have to use. Um, so what I have found sometimes is that it caches really hard, and then I am just stuck with it cached. That's that's what it is. <laughs> Um, so I find that, uh, especially for CSS, uh, it, invalidating the CSS is hard. And so I've ended up often doing um, something like uh, adding the time, as in the current server time on staging sites uh, is updated as the version number of the CSS all the time. That way I always am telling it to reload. So that's what I often end up doing for it. Otherwise, it's pretty good, and I like it. And uh, this is what I use when I code on iPadOS all the time. If you have any other questions about how to do development uh, from your iPad, web development in particular, let me know. Uh, I'd love to answer them for you if I can. If you love the video, you can give me a thumbs up below. If you, no, if you love the video, you can subscribe, actually. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you really want to support the channel and keep things going, then you can join me at patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. And over there, for as little as $5 a month, I'll give you a big warm hug, I guess. Actually, maybe not. Maybe hugs are off the table now with, you know, COVID and everything. But I'm going to appreciate it. And I do some extra videos for members uh, pretty much weekly on an update, just how things are going, what I'm working on, show off some of the new stuff before anyone else gets to see it. And just talk about what's going on. You get to see my kids more often there too, actually. Because they're just in and around. Have a wonderful day.